What's up guys, Eek with East Coast Ken, and I'm here for a video for Text Talking Shop, greatest YouTube channel ever, and uh, what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today is tools specific to the auto body field. So let's go ahead and get started with these first two right here, and what we have are some putty spreaders. So this is used to mix Bondo, glazing putty, or the kitty hair fiberglass material on a mixing board. You put a little bit on, put some hardener on it, take one of these, mix it around, and then you can take it and spread it on your body for the vehicle, the panel, uh, a boat if you're doing fiberglass work, whatever, and uh, yeah, that's what we use them for. All right guys, so the next set of tools that we have is a paint gun. This one right here is Essential Mimetic, so yes, it is from Harbor Freight. And what I use this for is painting primer and then sealer on vehicles to help reduce the reoccurrence of rust. And it's great for painting mini bikes and go-karts, small items like that. With that, you need a regulator. These things right here are worth their weight in gold because they get tossed around, they get dropped, they get paint covering on them. So having three or four of these in your toolbox does not take up much space and is very specific to the auto body field. So the next tool specific to auto body work are this, I think, 27 piece Mac tool set. And what it is, is it's used for popping rivets off from panels um, inside the door to remove that inside door skin so you can get into the backside. Um, yeah, we use a lot of it for basically that, popping little rivets out. All right, y'all, so the next set of, not tools, but personal protective equipment, your PPE that is specific to us is that this respirator, which is made by 3M and it's designed for sanding and grinding. That way those dust particles are that are in the air, you don't breathe them in. This one right here does the same thing, only it's designed for the paint booth when you're actually painting a car, a panel, or whatever it is you may be painting, like a gas tank for a motorcycle, so on and so forth. All right guys, so in no specific order are these tools. However, this one right here is your DuraBlock sanding kit. And it comes with a bunch of different blocks in it. So you've got a soft foam one that's flexible. Uh, you've got your long block for blocking primer and body filler. Then you've got some intricate ones that are round for like inside the little like body lines and stuff like that. So a nice sanding block kit. All right y'all, up next is something called a hammer and dolly kit. So you've got three different hammers that come in it, this particular one, and then you have four different dollies. And what these are designed to do is you put it along metal, uh, mainly body lines, panels, and stuff like that, and you lightly tap that metal, and what it does is it reshapes and reforms those fenders and body lines back to their OEM shape. So the second to last item is this 3M 3000 grit sandpaper. Now this is orange, so what that means is in the fourth stage. So this is your polishing clear coats or restoring clear coats that are already sprayed on it. You can also use it if you have like a small run or maybe an imperfection in the clear coat that you just shot on the panel. You can use that to kind of buff it out and smooth everything out. All right, guys, so the last tool is something that pretty much everybody uses. doesn't matter if you work in a tire shop, a quick lube chain shop, or if you're actually in a, a shop where you maybe pull pistons out, replace the rings, and do true on mechanical work. And again, used in the auto body field. And then whatever else, a lot of people use them, but they're razor blades. And the reason why we use these specifically in the auto body field is when we're putting uh, say plastic over a vehicle we'll use it to cut the tape lines out and then we'll also use it to cut that plastic to stick to those tape lines that way we can spray just a panel and not get that paint on the door and then we use them for other little intricate things like say you put a bunch of bondo and some glazing putty on a panel and you sanded it nice and smooth but there's that little itty bitty pinhole you don't want to have to re-sand all that down and then put more bondo on it you can take glazing putty mix just a little bit up take that glazing putty with the razor blade, not the putty spreader, but the razor blade, and you can lightly fill in just that pinhole. Works like magic, guys. All right, guys, again, I'm Eek with East Coast Ken, here for Text Talking Shop. 
just talking about tools. It's what we like to do. Um, we enjoy working on vehicles and uh, we got a lot of great knowledge with the different creators that are on this channel specifically through their own channels that do great work in the field. So like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if there's any other tools you'd like to see specifically for the auto body field and I'll see if I can't scrounge them up for you. Y'all have a good day. Oh,